Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. Oh, it is uh, Sandy's birthday. Let's see if we can remember that. Good morning, kiddo. Uh, where's the other one? There they are. There you are. Okay, let's uh, guzzle some coffee. Quick coffee snack in the hallway. Good morning. Have you figured out what you're going to use for our green display play tomorrow? Oh man, it's tomorrow. Probably the same thing I use every year. Honestly. I, I, it's green shiz, It's one of those I've, I'm past caring about the green shiz play. Uh, here's a vegetable from the little garden to keep out pack. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Thank you, Carolyn. I'm, I'm actually going to just sell that. Dear James, I just want to remind you that Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the green shiz play. Remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there. Mayor Lewis. Mayor Lewis. Can I show us what's what? All right, let's uh, go in here and uh, dump off a few things, I guess. Oh boy. Okay, I just want to get out to the field. Forgot to throw our diamonds in uh, the sales pit last time. Okay, let's go and do that and then we'll get home because we can get this done soon enough. So we were in the midst of... Right, we were down here. We had a... Uh, we had a few iridium grade star fruit, ancient fruits. All right. Yeah, there's not too much left. That's good. I missed these pineapples. Oops. And I missed these coffees up here. Not that we'd need them, like really, at this point. All right, there we go. So get ready to load them up. And there we are. So the last time I was talking about all of the uh, Marvel stuff I was getting through, and, uh, and the the little bit of reading time I've had, I've uh, been re re uh, reading through. Um, the library had uh, finally got a copy of Naomi Novik's last or third book in the Scholomance series, uh, the Golden Enclaves. Is that what it's called? Uh, so far, it really, really enjoyable. I'm like maybe halfway through, and uh, interesting as the the plot moves forward and the setting changes and you get into the real world. It's well done. It's it's a, it's an entertainment. It's a rollicking little ride. I, I don't know how people write that stuff, as in like uh, genre fiction, uh, at all. I've been reading through some of what I've, I've talked about in the other one, um, some of her dragon stuff I'm reading at the same time, and I, I don't even know how people get in that, into the headspace to do that. Um, I don't have that imagination. I just, uh, like, I, I thought I might, but I definitely don't. <laughs> I, I don't think I could write that stuff. It's, it's just a commitment that I, I can't imagine having. Um, I think, too, th that level of world building, kind of not believing in the world yourself, but like, I don't know, I guess enough that you are like able to envision the world of like any specific, you know, fantasy thing or whatever and go, yeah, I, I got this world. I'm going to do this. I can't quite uh, fathom that, but I respect it and I enjoy it sometimes. I'm not a huge reader of... Uh, you know, fantasy and all of that, but I'm, I'm trying to, as I get, uh, you know, try to keep yourself, uh, I basically keep going, what don't I read? And then I try to read it. And definitely some genre stuff, as I was never, I've enjoyed mystery now and again, I've enjoyed everything now and again, but I was never a huge fantasy, um, you know, reader, and uh, it's been, uh, Kind of cool getting into that a little bit. Uh, my suspension of disbelief is super low. Or was it? No. Which, whichever way, I, 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 I don't remove my suspension of disbelief easily. Like, I'm a very much a realist. So, like, like I, I read bleak European books, and that's I'm fine with that. I don't know that I... Yeah, I, I've, I've always had a harder time with fantasy. No idea why. I don't know. It just doesn't speak to me in the same way. 
but nonetheless, it uh, as I get older, I'm opening up more to it and enjoying it more than I would have. Uh, I, I, yeah, I definitely don't condescend to it. I think when I was young, I read my fair share of like Stephen King novels and Clive Barker novels and stuff. That was definitely my my youthful kind of reading. I read a lot of horror, which is some weird because I have no interest in reading horror novels now. Not a chance. Um, life's life's brutal enough. I don't need <laughs> anything else. Hey, butterflies. How are you doing? Okay, there we go. Wow. This is a few. This is a few. I definitely feel like we're going to be... Like, after the great sell out there, we, we moved ahead rather fast on our income. And I feel like we're just going to make this huge leap really quickly. Like, I don't feel like it's going to take anything for us to hit 100 million. 20 million seems like nothing now. <laughs> In this file. In my other playthroughs, eh, 20, that's a lot. Really? That bottle ill over there. How, how did they get, how did I miss that? All this driftwood. Like, realistically, I would definitely bring in some machinery and get rid of the driftwood. But, eh, they're not letting me do that here. I can't get the permits. The, uh, what's her name? The lady that runs the island. Oh, there. She's, uh, she's not good with the permits. Well, my late husband, he uh, he hated farmers, and uh, he hated wineries. So look at me remembering to do my secret boat winery. Oh my gosh, Birdie is Birdie's her name, right? <laughs> I, I just, I'm questioning that. I feel like it is, but it also might not be. No, it's Birdie. It's got to be Birdie. I don't think you friend her, so I don't think she'd show up on our thing. Oh, you'd think I would know. There's so many things in this game you would think I would know by this point. I, it's funny watching um, new player, uh, new viewers that, you know, this is the problem with doing. Like, this was my first farm game that I really played. Um, I'd never played the Harvest Moon games or any of that. I did, this wasn't a genre I was that interested in. Uh, I, did, I just didn't get it. And uh, so I didn't play this genre of game. And... Uh, so this was like my first real foray into this, and I you know, was predictably completely incompetent at it um, because the learning curve is a lot steeper than I expected. And uh, it's so those old videos in, you know, even nowadays, uh, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm great at them. Yeah, despite the number of hours I've put into these, I still have my weird habits of playing that are problematic. Like, I am a complete hoarder in these games, which is like, you know, it's good when it comes to certain quests, but it's bad in terms of just like overall gameplay style. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. I, it's so, I'm, I'm trying to improve as a player, but it's really bad when people are going back to videos from like whatever, 8,000 years ago, I don't know, whatever, 1200 BCE, whenever we started this channel and started doing these videos. Um, and people are like really irritated. <laughs> like I, I, you can tell by the tone. They're just like, Jesus! Like, how dumb are you? And uh, we'll vary, you know. Like I was learning, and uh, that's fine. Um, but I encourage people. I'm just like, just go watch a hundred videos. Like, just skip ahead. Like, why are you watching this? This is self harm. Like, don't watch these early videos. They're objectively not good. Uh, I'm learning how to do these, so you know. It is Birdie, okay. I, I, I heard you, Birdie. I don't know. Whatever you were saying, I, I value it. I cherish it, but uh, I'm going to continue winering on here. My viticulturing days are... Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it is funny that there's always still new people coming to the videos. They'll be like episode 20, and they'll be like, like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> well... It just, you know, it's uh, it was a process. It's uh, it is funny that the but the longer a game, like it's, I have so many videos now that I'll I'll have played through a game, say in early access. So I'll put in like you know 200 episodes of a game before it's even like fully released, and then people will come to it like three years later because it ends up on Game Pass, and they'll be like, 
expecting that I, ha I should have had intimate knowledge of everything right off the bat. Or like, how do you do this? Like, I don't know. <laughs> At the best of times, I, I don't know, so... This isn't the best of times, I have no idea. Definitely uh, expertise, that is not a thing I strive for. But I also, I think that's, you know, part, I think part of what I've intentionally, uh, I'm, like I'm not ignorant by like, just the fact that I'm, you know, thick. Like I could go out and read the wiki on any game and become like completely, oops, uh, masterful at any of these games. We could all do that. And I, I think I've just decided to not do that because I thought, well, it kind of defeats the, I don't know. It, it, that's it. I think because I could do it, it makes me not want to do it. I think I would rather try to discover it and uh, experience uh, something fresh and new. Because why would I want to just experience the same thing over and over again? Um, if I knew how to do things, it wouldn't be very interesting. So, I don't know. I think that, that motivates me to retain my ignorance with games. But then I, I get to be excited about them. Because how boring would it be if you just, like... I don't know, being a master of anything, it's kind of, bolt, like, dry. <laughs> it's not interesting to me. The minute I hit, like, total mastery is, like, kind of... Then it just becomes... You feel like oh, you're just doing it for the sake of it. Is that... I don't know. Therefore, I will never... What I'm getting at is I will just never become a master of these things. That's not... I'm just not gonna... You know, I'll go put pineapples in the other one. That's what I'll do. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right. Could have sold off the truffle oil as well. Because we have the winery stuff at home. That's what I'm thinking. We've also got the stuff up in the, the upper level here. Oh, it's interesting that these are... Did I put the diamonds in here or the one at home? I thought I put them in the one at home. So we got 758 bottles there. It's going to be a bumper crop day. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Whose birthday? is Sandy's birthday. Does Sandy go home, or does she live in the... Never tested this one out. Oh, no, 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 wrong place. For Pete's sakes. Wrong desert. Like, if you go, I think we have. If you go in there at any hour, she is there, isn't she? Kind of depressing. Wish they would let her go home. Free Sandy. Let's check it out. Sandy, are you here? No, where is she? Where'd she go? Huh. Oh, right, I forgot to put a slime incubator in here. <laughs> gonna fill this place up. So where does Sandy go? Huh. Oh my gosh, what? What is this? What? <laughs> I had no idea this was a thing. I don't think I've ever seen this. How's it going, Emily? If I didn't have to work, I'd suggest we go on a nice picnic. Okay, uh, here you go. Remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Hello, hello, sweetie. I'm so glad the bus is back in service. It was starting to get lonely out here. I almost went out of business. Hey, but now you're here to buy a whole bunch of seeds, right, sweetie? That's really cool, though. Come here. You, you can, what, are you, what are they doing? What? So they just come in like, oh, so I'm just going to come and chill with you. That is bizarre. So they just come and hang out. They're just having a little chit chat. That is wild. I had no idea. So, is this just on Mondays that Emily does this? So she's not at the pump because she's out here. Huh. That's really cool. You'll excuse me. Maybe I did see that in the past. I don't know. It's one of those. Sometimes the uh, if I don't have a reason to be in the right place at the right time, it's like why would I ever run into that? Weird. Okay. So we should get this done with no problem. Six hundred should cut it. 
What do we have, like 200 here or something? This, remember when this used to seem like a big deal? Okay, Timothy. Oh, for Pete's sakes. It's funny how you can hop through the... I wonder if you... Yeah, I guess you could use the... This is not a thing in Expanded. You could use the horse to get through. No, that was something else. I guess you could use the horse to get through obstacles if you could get your horse on close to something. Again, my brain just immediately goes into, like, where? what's an area of the game I feel like I could break? It's just, that's a, I, not that I want to, you know, it's just, it's a weird compulsion. I love seeing out-of-bounds areas in games. It's just always fun to see, like, the forbidden zones. We're racing through here with pineapple. Man running with pineapple. Far too quickly. Nothing good comes of this. Let's go back. It's like an Olympian sport we're doing here. Back and forth. He's doing the 5,000 meter pineapple dash. Okay, I don't know. I probably missed a bunch, but... No, don't want to eat a pineapple. We're good. Okay, so if I could bring... Oh, it was weird. If I were to put my horse there, if I go... No, it's... Okay, that's too far away. Yeah, no. What if I was here, and I go... Oh, there she is. She's come back. So it's like midnight and she came back from the... Oh, the bus came back. So was the bus gone? I have no... I wasn't paying enough attention. I wasn't even thinking about that. This is... it raises all kinds of weird, like, existential issues. Is she a person? <laughs> Where does she go? That's nice. They, uh... Give you a beach totem here. Oh. All right, and uh, there we go. Out of wood. All right, fine. Okay, so let's go here and uh, what else do we have? Guess we've got this prismatic shard. I don't need that. Uh, I really don't need the warp thing. Guess I'll keep the maple syrup. We'll come in here. We'll dump this off. All right. Let's load these up as fast as possible. Not sure how much time I had, so I thought I'd go for maximum amount. Don't worry about the lower ones unless I can absolutely get to them. Missed one. Let me in. Alright, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.